Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about joint multiple or tool inside to Alteryx. So here Alteryx designer 64 bit operating system that for I am using. So if you click on join multiple so here you get simple definition. So combine multiple input based on record position or comment fields. If the joint output each row will contain the data from each input. So let's understand by example so go to fabric here input data drag this tools now here after uh, here i'm going to this is selected first one so here this selected now here i'm going to take uh, the files so com comma separated file here dev1 going to select so this is the record inside uh, dev1 now select this option here drop down and uh, files here comma separated here dev2 so this is add here, here you can see or uh, uh, this record inside dev2. Now here after the next is so uh, let's go join and here uh, you just drag this join multiple and uh, here uh, this option are available join by record position, join by specific field and here only output record that join from the all input. So let's uh, drag dev1 now here you can see input and here vs string size 254 and here let's drag this one option and the uh, first time going to uh, select to join record by position so it will join the record according to the position report here report text and here drag this now run the workflow so here you can see this is the dev1 record 10 20 30 50 id 120 350 so here this it's coming and after doing the join operation 10 20 30 50 so it's i i think it's come from our dev1 and uh, here 120 300 150 so it's come from dev2 okay so when i select to uh, join by uh, record position so this output that i'm getting now here after uh, let's uh, click uh, this once again and here only output points or record that join all input so here if you run this here you can see uh, the same uh, value that I am getting now here after uh, uncheck and uh, join by a specific field so you can select this too but here id on uh, both do files so uh, uh, same so here join by specific field and I uncheck this option now if I uh, rerun the workflow here you can see uh, for 66 byte 66 byte it's going to double 175 and here you can see has 1 and this is the has 2 now here you can see 10 20 so 10 20 30 50 it's come from dev 1 and here 100 50, 200, 300 that come from dev2 so here 2020 20 matching value it's uh, displaying when you check this option so it will only return uh, matching values non matching null value that will not display now here rerun and check 20 helen 20 helen so 20 that present on dev1 and 20 that present in dev2 now uh, click this link and uh, this is the most important properties and uh, if you want to uh, use the uh, multiple fields so you can uh, give this name to so if the name uh, same then you should uh, better use this position right so here uh, same helen uh, jenny zeta same helen jenny and zeta now uh, let's uh, uh, take uh, name this time so name has some uh, matching values so here uh, now click this so here helen helen is the same so that here i'm getting this output so because helen is to come on dev1 and helen is the dev2 but if you uncheck this position so it will return matching value or nan matching with uh, add here null so 20 helen okay where is the helen so helen is the matching value now there is no any matching value so uh, this is the first uh, uh, first uh, files records and this is the second files records 
okay so this the uh, way we can use the uh, add here multiple or join multiple on Artrix. So, so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you